Welcome back to another episode of Ready Player Dave. Today I'm going to be playing For the King as I love. Uh, and this, of course, is my trapper guide. So what exactly is the trapper? Well, described on the wiki page, this is how it uh, basically is described. After years of spent crafting and setting traps of her own, the trapper understands not only the mechanisms, but also the mind of the sort of person who would set them. When she moves on an enemy, she fears little that the fight will. In other words, she has the ability to just basically disengage traps. She's defined by three different special abilities. Elite Ambush. With Elite Ambush, she basically ambushes that are only required two rolls to prompt a success, which is nice to have. She actually has Elite Disarm, uh, which is great for dungeons. It only requires only one roll, or in essence, one slot to disarm a trap. And of course, she has Counterattack. Now, Counterattack is a little bit ill-defined, and we'll get back to that shortly. She can carry uh, basically weapons with high awareness. She can carry a bow. However, she will lose the ability to carry a shield with that little extra protection that she gets, which gives her only two options in the games. Daggers, which are fast, but they're very limited in supplies, not a whole lot of them, which leaves her with spears, which gives her a great variety of different options and also keeps that valuable shield. She has two primary stats. One, which is awareness, which is depicted with the eyeball. You can see it right there. And, of course, she's got a secondary stat, which is quickness, which is depicted by, like, a little man that's running away. These are her two primary stats that she starts out with. They're not as strong as the hunter, of course. Okay, let's get into the nitty-gritty of what I think the Trapper actually is. I think one of the misconceptions that I had about the Trapper getting into the game was that it was sort of a rogue-type rogue, rogue type character. Somebody that was sneaky, um, that could actually counterattack and attack, uh, could disable traps, maybe even place traps. Uh, just leave all of those tropes behind. Um, in For the King, there really isn't any classic thief, uh, per se. Um, there is nobody that really quite sneaky there's a lot of evasion for the hunter and the trapper but i think the best way to think about the trapper is a hunter that actually is using a spear or a knife with a shield and of course she's not ranged at that point she's a melee character but she has a lot of the agility a lot of the quickness or should i say a lot of the awareness a lot of the quickness now she doesn't quite have the stats that the hunter has Again, I, 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 I hate making this comparison with the Hunter because it makes it sound like the Hunter is... Well, the Hunter is a pretty good class just in general. But the Trapper basically is like a lower level Hunter. But here's the difference. She has some of the evasion that the Hunter has, but she also has a shield. With that shield, she can take a hit. Where the Hunter is really more dependent upon evading. She can evade as well. But if she does take a hit, she does have a shield. And that shield, in many cases, there are lots of shields in the game, that can add extra status boots or, you know, basically things you can do that the hunter can't. The hunter basically is always with that particular bow weapon, um, which is not the greatest of shield, which is why he's dependent upon evasion. The trapper doesn't really have that issue. So the other thing that the trapper brings is obviously some of these elite skills, such as elite ambush, which... I hardly ever use and elite uh, trap disable which actually I use quite a bit I know a lot of people have kind of said eh, not the greatest ability but when you're in, in a dungeon in kind of a hard-pressed crisis situation it is great to have a one slot ability that gets rid of traps okay now let's talk about counterattack and what I thought it was to begin with and what it truly is I I, I took it as basically this is an attack that will be uh, a counterattack. If you get attacked, you get to attack back in combat. Uh, for the king, that's actually not the case. Don't make that assumption. Here is what it really is, and it's described here in the wiki, not too clearly in my opinion. Uh, basically says, whenever the character would be ambushed, it becomes a normal combat instead. So, in essence, not even in combat, but outside when you're walking around in the field, if for some reason you're to get ambushed, the effects of that ambush go away, and it just becomes normal combat. So instead of just getting kind of ganked, you don't get ganked, you just end up in normal combat. 
All right, moving forward. This is Ready Player Dave. This has been my trapper guide for the king. I love this game. I'm looking forward to its release. Should be soon. Uh, if you like, then like. If you subscribe, then you actually mean it. Until the next time.